Brunswick, Georgia, the white father and son convicted of murder in Ahmaud Arbery's fatal shooting after they chased the 25-year-old black man through a Georgia neighborhood were sentenced Monday to life in prison for committing a federal hate crime. U.S. District Court Judge Lisa Godby Wood handed down the sentences against Travis McMichael, 36, and his father, Greg McMichael, 66, reiterating the gravity of the killing that shattered their Brunswick community and became part of a larger national reckoning over racial injustice. Both men were previously sentenced to life without parole in a state court for Arbery's murder. A young man is dead. Ahmad Arbery will be forever 25. And what happened a jury found happened because he's black, Wood said. In February, a federal jury convicted the McMichaels and neighbor William Roddy Bryan of violating Arbery's civil rights, concluding they targeted him because of his race. All three were also found guilty of attempted kidnapping, and the McMichaels were convicted of using guns in the commission of a violent crime. The McMichaels armed themselves with guns and used a pickup truck to chase Arbery after he ran past their home on February 23, 2020. Brian joined the pursuit in his own truck and recorded cell phone video of Travis McMichael shooting Arbery with a shotgun. The McMichaels told police they suspected Arbery was a burglar, but investigators determined he was unarmed and had committed no crimes. Read more. What Ahmaud Arbery's death has meant for the place where he lived before the Monday sentencings, Arbery's mother, Wanda Cooper Jones, said that every day she feels every shot fired at her son. It's so unfair, so unfair, so unfair that he was killed while he was not even committing a crime. Greg McMichael addressed the Arbery family, saying their loss was beyond description. I'm sure my words mean very little to you but I want to assure you I never wanted any of this to happen, he said. There was no malice in my heart or my son's heart that day. Outside the courtroom, Hooper Jones responded to his statement. I think he realizes that he made some horrible decisions. Unfortunately, his apology doesn't bring back my son, she said. Travis McMichael declined to address the court, but his attorney, Amy Lee Copeland, said a lighter sentence would be more consistent with what similarly charged defendants have received in other cases, noting that the officer who killed George Floyd in Minneapolis, Derek Chauvin, got 21 years in pre. Greg McMichael's attorney, A. J. Balbo, also cited the Chauvin sentence as well as his client's age and health problems, which he said include a stroke and depression.